How's it going everybody, I'm Lox, and today I wanted to go over icons. I have done a couple of videos on how to properly export your game, but I've never really gone into the specifics on adding a icon to your game.exe. So let me just bring you into Blender and I'll show you what we're gonna do. Aha! First things first, you'll see that this is the same game that I made in the last video, but we're gonna add an icon to our export. So first of all, I've already cleared out my file where I had the game already exported to, and the first thing I wanna do is just make a new folder, and I'm gonna call this icons. So something important to know is you actually need a .ico file. A regular JPEG or PNG is just not gonna work. In order to get a .ico file, there's a couple ways you can do it. You can use something like GIMP to create a .ico file for free, or if you have Photoshop, you can pay like 70 bucks to get an ICO file extension. It's kind of ridiculous. I would not recommend that option. Another option for a free export is using a website. So for today, I'm gonna be using this website to convert my PNG to an ICO file. I'm not quite sure what the risks are for using sites like these. From using this a couple of times, it seems to be safe. I haven't run into any issues with it. So to start off, I have a little PNG that I created with my little zombie dude right here. And it's just a 1024 by 1024 image. So I'm just gonna take my icon, drag it into here and convert. Now, after you get the green done, you can hit download. And this is just gonna automatically download your ICO file. You can click on this drag it over to the desktop and just drop it there. So we're done with that. We can just minimize it. And we're gonna take our new icon file right here. You can see it's a lot smaller. And we're just gonna drag our icon file into our new icon folder. After it's in your icon folder, you're gonna to wanna to grab the actual directory of your icon folder. So we're gonna use users and then Loxavian and then just go all the way to the icons folder. Press control C and then we're gonna go back into UPBGE. We're gonna go into file, export, and we want to go to export game as runtime. And you can see I already have this in here, but for the tutorial, I'm just going to delete that, press control V, and paste my directory into this new icon path. You'll see that if you just click on this, you cannot. It's been an error that's been around for a long time and it's never been fixed. So what we're going to want to do is now that we have our directory chosen, we're going to actually want to go back to that file, right click on your icon, and then we're going to want to go to show more options and then rename. Then I'm just going to copy the name of this icon. At the end of the directory, you're going to want to add a backslash, then paste in your icon name. Then at the end of this, you're going to want to do dot ico. And that's going to complete that. Now that that's done, we have our name for our game, and we're just going to save game as runtime. Now that that's done, we can go over to our level loader. Oh, interesting. If you run into a problem with your icon not updating properly, just go over to overwrite lib folder and check that icon. Then delete all of the files that you created, except leaving your icon folder, and then save game as runtime. And then when you go back to it, your game will have a new icon. We can open up our game, and voila, you can see in the top left corner, we have our little dude. So anyways, that's how you add an icon. Thanks so much for watching. If you would like to check out more of my content, it'll be somewhere around here. Thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next video. Goodbye. Ah!